This is Mungo Dark Matter, and welcome to Dark Matters. Today on Dark Matters, I'm going to show you how to make an enchantment table in Minecraft. Okay, the first thing we need to do is go to the crafting table here. We're going to need a book. So I'm going to make one real quick by taking a piece of leather and putting it in the corner square here, and then taking three pieces of paper and putting them in these three grids around it. That creates a book for us. Now, we need a few other things. Let's go in here. We're going to need some obsidian. And we're going to need some diamonds. All right. We'll go back to the crafting table. And we take these obsidian. and we put it in these four squares of the grid. We need two diamonds, four obsidian, and then we put the diamonds in these two squares on the grid. And then lastly we take a book and put it on the top and you see we have an enchantment table right here. So that's how you create a uh, enchantment table in Minecraft. So we're going to take this down here, put it in there, and we're going to go over here and put our enchantment table down right here. And there it is. Alright, if we right click on the enchantment table, the enchantment window will come up. And we can drop a tool or a piece of armor or weapon or whatever we want to enchant in this little box right here. So I have a, a new iron pickaxe, and I'm going to drop it right in there. Uh, you probably want to use a new tool that doesn't have wear on it. Like for instance, this iron pickaxe is kind of worn out, and you wouldn't want to waste an enchantment on on something that's got a reduced life. So you probably want to try to um, enchant something that that hasn't been used yet. Now these are the enchantments right here. The thing is, is there's no way to know what these enchantments are really. These are the experience points they, they use up. And if one of these boxes were grayed out, that would mean that we don't have enough experience to actually make the enchantment. Uh, we can actually take the pickaxe down here again and put it back in our inventory and then put it back in this little box and you see it, it has different numbers here so these are different enchantments so you have to kinda of take a chance and guess uh, one clue is that uh, certain enchantments may be um, particular levels like certain enchantments might be eight or above so if you pick eight you may have a better chance of getting the enchantment that you want depending on what the enchantment is now before I enchant anything put this back here now you can see you know we, we got a level 8 before here's a 6 here's a 2 here's a 2 I'm gonna put this pickaxe back here before we enchant anything and I'm gonna go over here and uh, let me get some paper. And let me get some more leather. I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to make a bookcase real quick. In order to make a bookcase, I'm going to need to... use some leather and some paper. I'm going to need three books to make a bookcase. And I'm also going to need six planks. 
So what I do to make a bookcase is I take these books and I put them in this center row of squares in the grid and I take these planks and put them above and below filling the rows up and we've got a bookcase here which I'm going to drop right down here. Now you can surround the enchantment table with bookcases and the more bookcases you have around the enchantment table uh, the better it actually works so I'm gonna put I'm gonna put one right here behind the enchantment table All right, if you look at the bookcase in the enchantment table, you'll see uh, little letters flying out of the bookcase. And uh, there would be, here's a bunch of them right now. There'd be a lot more if you had more bookcases surrounding the enchantment table. You have to have a space of one block between the bookshelf and the enchantment table. But you can actually totally surround the enchantment table with bookcases. And um, it will increase uh, the level of the enchantment. So if we right click on the enchantment table here and we put the pickaxe up here, see these letters here and or these numbers here in the green are the uh, level of experience it will take from your experience for the particular enchantment. If they were grayed out or one of them was grayed out, that means that you don't have enough experience to cast the enchantment. So let's try this again. Now you can go lower levels. So they're not always going to be high. There's an 8, which we got before. And the more bookcases you have, the higher the level, maximum level can be. Uh, so what we're going to do is I'm going to pick an enchantment here. And uh, I'm going to go with seven. And I've enchanted the tool. And then efficiency two is the enchantment. So this tool will be more efficient. And you can see it's kind of glowing there. get out of here so if we go over here this is an iron pickaxe you see we can hit once twice so we hit twice and it knocks one of these blocks out if we go to an ordinary iron pickaxe see it took a couple one two three four five six seven see how many it took so the efficiency on the pickaxe only takes two hits. All right, so that's that's all right. So that's how to make an enchantment table and a bookcase, and how to enchant. Uh, a tool or a weapon. Uh, if we go back let's take this out. Let's go back and let's go get a We'll make ourselves an iron sword real quick. And we're going to try enchanting that. See, we've dropped down to a level 11 now uh, because we used up 
some levels to do the enchantment. I'm going to put this up here, the sword, and uh, we can actually, we have a one, a two, and a three. We can actually pull the sword back into inventory and back into the square. Now we got like a five. Uh, you do it again, see if we get any better. We've got like a seven again. So seven's going to take us down to level level four. Let's see what seven does on a sword. Bane of Anthropods one. That will uh, that will kill spiders and silverfish uh, a lot faster. So it's it's more efficient on spiders. So we've got these more efficient tools now. So that's how to make an enchantment table, uh, how to make a bookcase, how to enchant a weapon and a tool. So that's how to make an enchantment table, a bookcase, and how to enchant weapons and tools. And you can do the same with armor in Minecraft. I'm Mungo Dark Matter, and this has been Dark Matters, and whatever you do, Enjoy playing Minecraft. What you what you want? What you what you want?